Hi everybody, my name is Matthew Thornton and I welcome you to my studio here and today we are going to talk about Task and the, and the artist Oliver Herring, okay? So Task is kind of a, is a way for, to build community through the power of art making. And it was originally thought of by a New York artist named Oliver Herring who developed this idea that people could get together and kind of explore their personality outside the uh, kind of natural social parameters that, that exist. And so you can kind of explore where you are in the community and how it brings a how artwork can bring a community together. And it kind of repurposes the ideas of, uh, of art and repurposes materials and things that we use. So as you can see, maybe around the room right now, there's a lot of stuff. And then in my studio, I have a lot of stuff set out so I could perform, show you how you can be have your own kind of task party today. So here, we're gonna have a task party today. And the idea of a task party is to create a task for someone else to do. And then in turn, you get to create a task that someone else has made, okay? And so a task can be anything. You, can, you write it on a piece of paper and then you put it in the task box. And then once you write your task on the piece of paper, you can then put it in the task box and pull out a new task that you need to look at and recreate that task, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna start this out and we're gonna go through it kind of like step by step. So the first step is to get a piece of paper and a pen or a marker. I'm gonna use this marker because it's gonna show up really well on the camera. So my task is gonna be uh, uh, write, a poem. Okay? So I wrote down my task for someone else. And it's write a poem, okay? So now I'm going to fold it up so nobody can see it. Right? And I'm going to put it into the task box. Okay? And now that I have put my task, it now allows me to draw a task that I can then interpret and then create. Okay, so let's shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake them, and let's see what we got in here, okay? Look, here we go. I have drawn my task, and I have all of this materials here to, to do whatever this task is, okay? And my task is make a hamburger, okay? So make a hamburger is the task that I drew. Okay, so look, I have all this stuff I can try to make a hamburger with. Look, I have balloons, I have some Play-Doh, I have, I have these things that the doctor uses. I don't know what these are. I have blocks, I have markers, I have crayons, I have clay, I have Play-Doh, I have modeling clay I can use to make a hamburger. I have crayons, I have glue. I have all this stuff that I could use to make a hamburger. I even have yarn and all and wire. And there's all kinds of stuff over here. What am I gonna do? So it's my job to interpret how to make a hamburger, okay? And then make a hamburger, okay? So I'm gonna try to make a hamburger out of some of this clay. Look at this clay right here. There's a whole bag of this clay that's all different colors. So I'm gonna use this brown, this brown clay right here, this brown one, okay? I'm gonna break some of that off. And this is gonna be my bun, okay, look. So look, I'm gonna make, some, make a little bun. Look, that's the, that looks like a pretty good top bun. And the idea isn't to go fast or to get as many done as possible, it's just to, to, to create something that someone else has thought of, okay? And to, to kinda of reuse these materials and make new ideas and think of things differently than you may have thought of before. So look, that's a pretty good top bun. I'm gonna make a, another, I gotta pull off another little piece of this clay. I'm gonna make a bottom bun, okay? Look, boop -ba doop Here we go, squishing out a little bottom bun, right? Cause you have to have a, a, a bottom bun for your hamburger, right? So there we go, that's pretty good, huh? 
bottom bun. So now I got a top bun and a bottom bun, right? So I need some hamburger stuff in there, right? Okay. So what are hamburgers usually have all a piece of lettuce? Look, here's the green piece of clay. And I'm gonna use this to make a piece of lettuce. All right. Here we go. Look at that. That looks like a pretty good piece of lettuce. I'm gonna put that right there on the bun. Huh? <laughs> all right. And then hamburgers, sometimes they have tomatoes, right? Tomato. So I'm gonna make this, look at some red clay. I'm gonna make a tomato out of this one, look. And the idea is to have fun and make something that maybe you didn't think about making before, or maybe you thought, I can't make a hamburger. How am I gonna make a hamburger? You know, so look. Now we got top bun, lettuce, tomato, and we need some, some, we need some meat, huh? I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the black for the meat. I know that meat's not really black, but we can use black for meat. Okay, look. I'm gonna make a little hamburger patty out of the black, right? Here we go, look. Well, all right. Now all it needs, right, is my bottom bun. Boop. And I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for this hamburger today. Okay? So that's task. So the idea is to have fun. Make a task. When you're finished with the task that you created that says make a hamburger, you put it back into the, to the, uh, the used task box, okay? There's tasks that are completed. So you put it into the finished or completed task box and then you can make another task for someone else and draw a task out. And we're gonna keep doing this for a while and we're gonna see what we can create and we're gonna also find out a lot about each other and who we are and what we can make and, and it's gonna be really fun and we're gonna try to build our community in the classroom with this cool task party idea, okay? So have fun everybody and enjoy the day and I think it's time to put some music on. Let's put the music on and have a task party. You guys ready? Woohoo! All right, let's go.